So do you wanna see some mind-blowing technology that is 3D and will change your life forever? Well, the Victorians did, and it's called a stereoscope, um, or a stereograph, they can call it as well. So this is uh, like your version of like a, I guess, like a 3D headset that you wear now. Um, they had it like over 100 years ago, so this is pretty cool. Um, got this one today uh, on trade from a fellow. He ended up wanting a watch that I had, and we did a bit of a trade. So I got a whole bunch of these cards. So what these are, um, they're really early photographs, and they would duplicate it. I'll show that to you there. They would duplicate it uh, side by side, and when you view it through the viewer, uh, it would turn out to be 3D, so a 3D image. And I didn't know if it would actually work or not, so... Well, I mean, you'd think it would work because they marketed these things and sold lots of them, but um, I didn't know if it would still work after the photo was degraded a little bit and time had gone by. So um, I got this one going in here, which is sort of like a little lake scene. Um, what's cool about this is actually Canadian too. It's in uh, the Muskoka area. It's the Shadow River in Rosso. So that's pretty neat. Uh, nice to see Canadian stuff. So you'd hold it up to your eyes like this and make sure that you have it set just right. And make sure it's adjusted and yeah it's a 3d image so uh, kind of like when you put the the red and green sort of red and blue glasses on at the 3d movie it gives you that same effect where there's like a different layer so one popping up from the other it's actually really cool um, you know pretty cool technology this would have been mind-blowing considering they only had you know like a handful of songs and a handful of entertainment back then some of you who had this would have been like really high tech. That would have been like your cool uncle, I guess, that showed up at your house and he's like, hey kids, who wants to see the stereograph? And you'd be like, what? Um, really neat though. And um, yeah, what's cool about it is that I ended up with probably, well, I'd say about a hundred or more of these cards. So I keep myself busy um, having a look through these, but um, yeah, really cool piece of history. And just going through some of the photographs too, uh, pretty amazing. Uh, any ones that were colored, they would have had to hand tint. Um, so this is um, Loch Katrine in Scotland. And all that coloring that's on there is hand tinted. So somebody would have had to hand tint these photos. So really neat. And then uh, sometimes it gives like a little blurb on the back too about what the scene is about. So yeah, if you hadn't seen one of these before, um, they're from about 1850 to 1900. They had a 50 year run's not bad for technology. I mean, geez, how long does a phone last nowadays? They, you know, they had 50 years worth of tech going here that was still relevant. So um, they made these um, through the Civil War, uh, Boer War, and the first part of World War I. And uh, lots of cool scenes, and uh, some of them can be valuable. Like there's some that are of like Abraham Lincoln. Um, that can be pretty collectible. Um, I don't know what I have in here, so I'm gonna go through them today and see what there is, but um, yeah, really cool piece. So I thought I'd show you and share and check it out. So um, it could be yours, it's gonna go up for sale, um, but it's a fun thing to have around the shop for the time being. So yeah, just thought I'd share some cool things that came in today.